Hello, welcome to Verb Channel. I'm Stephen. Uh, last video, we are already talking about the size about the verb. So this size is a nominal pipe size, and uh, how to use this uh, size to find the inside diameter size. And uh, we are already talking about the the inside diameter table. So today we are going to be talking about the next line, the pressure. So what is the pressure mean? In ASME B 16.34. Pressure, the reason why we put a pressure number on valve body, the reason is we want to tell the user how much big pressure does this valve can hold. If the pressure higher than this one, maybe the valve will break or even explode. So that will be very dangerous. So when you saw 115 on this valve body, do you know how much pressure does this valve can hold? So that is the question we are going to talk about in this video. When we're talking about the pressure inside the valve, just like uh, we are going to talk about the pressure inside a pressure vessel, look like this. This is a pressure vessel. So inside the pressure vessel, the pressure will push against the vessel's body. So if this body won't hold its pressure inside safely, the body must have enough wall thickness to hold the pressure. If the wall thickness are not thick enough, maybe the pressure will break the wall. And also maybe the explosion can happen. So that will be a very dangerous situation. So in ASME B16.34, the pioneer engineer really want going to design a table, which is called a valve body table, valve body thickness table. So the table, it will look like this. So first we divide it to the horizontal side to different pressure, maybe 150, 300, and 600, and 900. And then we divided the vertical side to different size. Maybe 2 inch, 4 inch, 6 inch, 8 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch. So after a lot of test and calculation, we can have very precise uh, statistic to fulfill this table. For example, if you're going to design a 2 inch valve, and the inside pressure is 115 psi. So maybe we need 0.2 inch thick wall to hold 150 psi pressure inside. And also when the pressure getting higher, for example, uh, the pressure gets 300, so the wall will get getting thicker, maybe 0.25 inch, maybe in 600, maybe 0 0.3, 900, maybe 0.35. And also, when the size is getting bigger, even though the pressure is same, but when the size is getting bigger, of course, the size, the bigger size, will weak the body. So when the size is getting bigger, we need thicker wall to hold the same pressure. For example, 4 inch maybe need a 0.25, maybe 6 need a, uh, 0 0.3, 8 inch need a, Point, uh, 0.35, 10 inch, 0.4, just like this. That's just an example. So finally, after a lot of tests and calculation, the pioneer engineer can design a very detailed table, look like this. And also we can uh, put a lot of uh, precise uh, wall thickness uh, factor in this table. So when the valve design engineer going to design the valve, they can use in this table to find the right thickness about the valve wall thick to design a very safety valve. So next let's look at uh, the real uh, valve body wall thickness table in ASME B16.34. This is a table from ASME B16.34 and uh, this table called a uh, valve body minimum wall thickness table. So in this table you will find the minimum wall thickness for different pressure and size valve. 
For example, if you are a valve design engineer, you want to design a valve, so you can use in this table to find the correct wall thickness to design a valve. For example, you are going to design a two inch, uh, two inch, and uh, 115, 115 uh, pressure class valve. So the wall thickness at least need a point two two inch thick. So if you're going to design a valve, this is the minimum wall thickness for your valve. So in this table, we already can find all the thickness to design a valve. But I have a question. Why we didn't put the unit behind the class? For example, 150. Why we didn't say 115 PSI? So the question is, when you using this table to design a valve, for example, two inch, 115 class valve, do you think the valve really can hold 115 PSI inside? So that is question next we are going to talk about. When we're talking about PSI, first we need to understand what is PSI. For example, 150 PSI, 115 PSI. 115 PSI means if you have a cube, the cube length is one inch, the width is one inch, the height is one inch, and the cube weight is 115 pound. The symbol for pound is LB, LB. And then you put this cube on the table, on the table. So on this table surface, the area which touch the cube, this area will get 115 PSI pressure on the surface. So that is the meaning for 115 PSI means. So for example, we are going to design a valve. The valve body, just like a, a pressure vessel. The inside pressure is 115 PSI pressure. So we need enough wall thickness to hold the pressure inside. So how thick it is? So for example, this valve is two inch. It's two inch. And the pressure class is 150. So according to valve body wall thickness table, at least we need 0.22 inch wall thickness, which can hold the pressure. So the wall thickness 0.22 inch thick and uh, this valve is two inch valve so this valve can hold 115 psi pressure inside but the question is for example if this valve can hold 115 psi pressure inside when the environment temperature is for example 150 Fahrenheit degree, 115 Fahrenheit degree, that equals 65 Celsius degree. So do you think when the temperature going high, when the temperature going high, around the 715 Fahrenheit degree, that equals 400 Celsius degree, if this valve can hold 100 PSI pressure inside when the environment is 100 15 Fahrenheit degree temperature. Do you think this valve still can work in 715 Fahrenheit degree temperature environment? Of course, maybe it cannot work because when the temperature getting higher, the high temperature will weaken the body, will weaken the material. So we need another table. We need another table going to tell the engineer when the pressure getting higher, how big pressure does this valve can hold? Because when the temperature change, the real pressure the valve can hold actually also changed. So we have another table. So this table called a temperature pressure rating table. Temperature pressure rating table. So first, we divided the horizontal side to different pressure class for example 150 to 900 
and then we divided the vertical side to different temperature, maybe 100 Fahrenheit degree, and uh, maybe 300, maybe 600, 700, 800, or even, even 900. So the table will look like this. And then after a lot of tests and the calculation, so we can have statistics inside. For example, we're using this valve body thickness table, going to design a valve, just like two inch valve. And the wall thickness is 0.22 inch thick. So this valve in 100 Fahrenheit degree, it maybe can hold more than 150. Because the temperature is not high, maybe around maybe around 250 psi pressure. And then the pressure getting higher to 300, it just can hold maybe 200 psi. When the temperature getting higher to 600, maybe just can hold 150 psi. And then the pressure getting higher and higher, maybe in 700, maybe just can hold less than 150, just can hold 100. PSI and in 800 maybe just uh, 80 PSI in 900 maybe just uh, 50 PSI. So this table we call this table is a pressure temperature rating table. So in ASME B16.34, the pioneer engineer already designed this kind of table. Going to tell the engineer. Uh, which is going to design a valve or you're going to choose a valve you can use in this table to find the real pressure that this valve can hold if the valve body was thickness designed by this was thickness table so that is the reason why we didn't put the psi behind the class we just call those number is class just a class just class, not PSI. The real PSI, the real pressure this valve can hold, you really need to check the temperature pressure rating table. So we, we also have a lot of statistics in this table. So let's look at uh, the real ASME B16.34 temperature pressure rating table. So let's, uh, let's look at the real one. <laughs> 